hold up, hold up. Run the remix. Have you ever put some shit together, made some noise, but still haven't gotten the recognition you deserve? That's the spot that I am in right now. You see, era of reality has been fucking dominating the BWO. You have the Mad King with one of the best records here in the game today. You have the Vagabond who went from a basement dwelling dweeb to one of the top contenders here today. And you have the HNIC finally living up to his name. But why does that happen? It's because of me. I put this shit together. I'm the one who brought everyone together. I got the Mad King out of FTW. I made Lamar shake those fucking cobwebs on and get on his game. I took Vagabond to his very limit and made him one of the best. And I still don't get my fucking respect. I got niggas who don't even compete here anymore ahead of me in the fucking power rankings. I see two of my fucking stable mates in tournaments for championship glory while I'm sitting here begging and pleading and begging and pleading for y'all motherfuckers to put me on a card. And now I have to sit and wait in the backdrop for another mystery motherfucker to unveil himself so I can get a shot at some shit that y'all niggas haven't even been worried about here in the group. But it's okay. Every motherfucking dog has its day. And I'll be damned if I keep letting y'all motherfuckers overlook me. If I keep letting y'all motherfuckers think I'm just bottom filler. That I'm just some fucking cheerleader who sits on the sideline. No more. So. This is my formal call out. Mr. BWO. Show your fucking self so your ass can get fucking dealt with. Target, set, bang. Mm. The young guns on the hunt. <laughs> BWO Faithful, it is I, your wrestling professional, the voice of the BWO promo division. Hashtag DB Greatness and welcome to Promo Division Live. We are making a stop at Talk Your Shit on the road to Promo Mania. And the young gun has laid down his claim. He said what he wants. Mr. BWO, show yourself. Who is Mr. BWO? He still wants to know. And he also wants you to know that he started Era of Reality, brought this group together, and he will not be forgotten. So... We will be seeing more of the Young Gun, which is, is good to see. And speaking of which, I would like to release a formal apology. I have been told by the promo council that I did offend, like I, I can come across as offensive in my judgment last week when calling the main event of Promo Mania for the Promo Division Championship, the HNIC versus Nicholas Lilly as the most unexpected main event that we have ever seen. And, and I, I apologize, okay? Again, I'm here to tell the stories. 
I'm here to tell the story. So my apologies to both of you, but we got big things coming, including our main event tonight. Hezekiah Little John the King is taking on a different breed vagabond for a spot in our main event March 19th at Talk Yo Shit. So far, Iceman Bobby Miller will be defending the Talk Your Shit Championship against the Mad King Era of Reality member Trey Marquise. And Hezekiah Little John or Vagabond will move on to that match. So we will see that. But another match for that match. Another qualifying match for that main event will be happening next week against Black Star DD Ray and the returning Eric Smith show. And Eric Smith has not competed in over three years. Mm. And he has a lot to say. And also, here is the return of CM Tuck, one half of the tag team champions, and our commissioner with some things to say too about promo mania. Without further ado, take it away, guys. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the soon to be the most talked about show in all of BWO. Yes, I am talking about no other than the Eric Smith Show. And on the first installment of the Eric Smith Show, I would like to introduce you all to no other than Mr. Relevance himself, the new relevance of BWO himself, as I must say, Mr. Eric Smith. Eric, how have been? Man, it's been a long time since I heard from you. How you doing? Yeah, man, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, life's been, life's been life, man. You know, take care of these kids, going to work, coming home, wearing smart feet, getting high, stay, trying to stay out of Facebook jail. But as you know, I'm in Facebook jail always, but I'm free now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. Good to see you not in Facebook jail, but... Let's get straight to it. So tell us, what made you come back to the promo division? Everybody is dying to know. And this is your grand return. So tell us, what made you come back? Like I said, it's because I'm free and I didn't have shit else to do. It was long overdue or whatever, you know. Nice, nice. So. What are your thoughts on the promo division as of late since the last time you've been? Because we know last time you've been in the promo division was like 2019 and it's 2022. So it's been a three year I hate it. So what's your, like, what's, how do you feel about the promo division so far as since you've been back? Um, to say to you that the division, the division has been like very promising. I mean, Let's be honest, it, 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 it's not at its peak as it once was when it first started, but we had to like, you know, like this has been, you know, people coming in, people coming out, leaving, coming back. Me for one of the motherfuckers. Um, yeah, so like to see where the buck made his rise, fall and rise back again, to see where it's at now is wonderful. Is it is very wonderful and I'm glad that I'm I'm back to be a part of it. Nice, nice. So first match in what? Three years I said, yeah, three years. Danny Ray, that's your opponent. Thoughts about him. Go. Um my opponent, uh what's his name? Can't speak on on his um his gifts. Can't speak up on his mic skills. But now nah, he's gonna be in just another can't say robot. Can't say bump in the road. He's a pebble. He just gonna I'm flick his little ass out the way and then on to the next person because. It's been a long time coming for me. Wrinkle shirt and all, yep. Long time fucking coming for you, boy. Like, I've been gone for two years. Last time I was in this bitch, I was a BWO champion. I was the BWO champion. And 
that was the rise of the Eric Smith show, but life took its course, family health problems, kids health problems, you know, then it's always the whole back and forth in Facebook jail shit, but it's like, I'm back and I'm here and I'm, I want, I want to be back at the top, I, I was at the top of the mountain once, I'm going back to being at the top of the mountain. Nobody's not gonna come in between it. Nobody's not gonna stop me. I don't give a damn if it's Stevie Ray, Danny Ray, Bubba Ray, Devon, get the table. It don't fucking matter. I'm whooping that. And I'm going on to becoming Talk Your Shit Champion. And then I'm going on to becoming the motherfucking main champion. Promo Division Champion, Promo Division Guy. Once again, I am the Eric Smith Show. And like I said, I am the new relevance in BWO. Nobody's not going to stop me. Plain and simple. Yeah, that sure was wrinkled, my guy. But we'll let you slide the big buck off. But as you said, we coming forward to be for BWO as a whole. PDL, all that. I want that Talk Your Shit title. It's the workhorse strap. I want that. That just gonna show y'all how I look good with it, even though it's just gonna be nothing but a mere trinket to me because I want the promo division title. No if and buts about it. I don't care for none of the BS that comes around it. I don't care for whoever holds it. There's nobody to me. So if that mean I gotta beat the shit out of this Danny Ray guy just to get to the belt, then by all means I'm gonna do so. Like I said, welcome to the Eric Smith Show. And with that being said, this is Eric Smith signing off for the Eric Smith Show. Till next time, see ya. B-W-O. It's been a hard week. Um, as all of you saw, including myself last week, it was the first time that I've seen my own tag team partner. Heard from him, seen him in months. And as great as he is, as great as he is, not everyone compete when they're not 100% and that just goes to show how hard of a fighter that Black Star D.D. Ray is. The promo that you all deserved, it is coming soon and it will be at Promo Mania as I also want to be a fighting champion. So we will defend our tag team titles at Promo Mania. Who will it be against? Only time will tell. And also, congratulations to the agent I see, Lamar, um, on a a groundbreaking title victory and I hope that you are ready for Promo Mania as well and congrats to all of our new and old members who are still coming in and fighting, fighting for a chance to be on top as DB says, you don't want to miss any of the action, it's only here in the BWO Promo Division thank you DB for all that you do um, you're a great host I've, I've never said it on video and uh, it's about time. You're a great host. And we can't wait to see what the rest of this month and promo mania have in store. Thank you. All right, that was the Eric Smith Show. He is now the third best host in the Provo Division, and he will be competing next week against Black Star DD Ray for the final spot in the Fatal 4-Way match in the main event of Talk Yo Shit, March 19th. And we heard from our commissioner. Yeah, where you been? I swear. You've been like the neglectful father or something, you weirdo. But thank you for calling me the best host ever because everyone already knew it. Yeah, whatever. But he will be competing at Promo Mania uh, with Blackstar DD Ray, uh, you know, teaming up for the Promo Division Tag Team Championships against either EOR members, Young Gun Steven Faison, and Vagabond, a different breed, Whew. or Mr. BWO and a mystery partner. There's so much things happening. Promo Mania is coming, man. It's still feeling a little light, so. Uh, we need some more people or something. I don't know. But one person who sadly will not go into promo mania a second year as champion is our former champion, the most decorated superstar in this division's history, the face of pain, beast mode, Bones. And he's got some things to say. Bones, let's hear it.
bro. I didn't even really lose that match. I'm still y'all champion. I'll always be y'all champion, no matter what. Like I'm, the fans know who won that. I didn't lose that. And I mean, Lamar's great, and I'll never take that from him. But we all know that my promo was just better. Maybe I just didn't get it. But even if y'all didn't get it, I kind of I kind of still won, right? I'm still the champion, right? I'm still your champion, right? How the fuck could I lose this shit? How the entire fuck? Like, and then Nick Lilly. Faces him in Promo Mania, not me. I should be there. I should be the one. Never got to go to Promo. I never. Lamar. Powers that the powers that be, the Promo Council. Please give me another chance. Give me another shot at my title. Give me a rematch. Nick Lilly, please face me. Face me for. Face me for your title, man. Face me for your chance to the title. I'm just, I'm, at, I'm, I'm nicely bargaining with you. Like, just face me. So sick. Like, I don't even. I started this whole pain run for a reason. I wanted to make the division great, and apparently I did that. Lamar stepped up, and Lamar stepped the fuck up. He brought it. But I just... I just don't know who I am. Without my title. What am I? Am I a hoodie? Am I pain? Am I a battle rapper? What's next? I don't accept this. Man. Yeah, I've never heard Bones like that. Uh, Bones, just know I'm, you're still my best friend. If you need anything, call me. I swear, he just went through the five stages of grief right in front of our eyes here. Promo Mania is coming. We're going to get to talk your shit. Uh, so many big things happening and we need more challengers we need something bigger because this is not feeling as good as it can be so we need new blood come in join the division message all the members of the group that are part of the promo division to be a part of it get in on this action but don't talk to me merchandise is being so yeah bwshop.bigcartel.com that's the go-to place to get all things BWO on your chest like shirts. You can get cups. I saw like a a, a tie-dye hat with BWO. I saw a hoodie with BWO. I even saw one of those like, you know, like Ash Ketchum hats with BWO written on it. Re wear BWO head to toe and rep the best group that you know and you can get the best thing in the world and that is the DB Fit, the BWO polo which you see me wearing looking all sorts of swag delicious bwshop.bigcartel.com Main event! Here we go! For a spot in the Fatal 4 Way match at TYS for that Talk Your Shit Championship. Hezekiah Little John, the king. He had arguably the highest rated match in our current division's history. But his record has not been the best. I mean... It could be better, Hess. I'm just saying. He has a chance to take the Talk Your Shit Championship, which has eluded him at Talk Your Shit. But standing in his way is EOR member and one of the best new superstars who started out with a terrible record, but now is doing pretty well. And he had match of the night at Broken Hearts against the best there is. He's not the very best, but the best there is. The mysterious promo artist Trevor Robinson he held his own but he did not win so the talk your shit championship could be on his horizon but if Vagabond moves on he's gonna have to face his teammate Mad King in that match so a lot of things could happen but could Hez 
take it and go to the pay-per-view. Let's find out, because it's main event time. Hezekiah Little John, Vagabond, winner moves on to the Fatal 4-Way at Tokyo Shit. Send it to the action. What the fuck? Who boosted the LEDs? This filter's fucking atrocious. Are you trying to make me look like Vagabond? I have a fucking reputation to uphold. People need to see me. Just, just do it from the top. You know what? <laughs> Greetings, everyone. It is I, the man, myth, the legend, the king of the BWO promo division. It is I, as a guy, Little John. Rev, uh... Why did I do this? Why? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I? What is? What is? What is the? What is the point? What is the? What am I? What is the point? <laughs> Provided for these people. I have given them everything. I have poured my soul to these people. I have tried to impress and be creative. I have given them promos, the likes of which no one's ever done before. And in return, in return, they say, good job. Good job! He did so well! Oh, Hezekiah, you did so great! We're gonna give you this imaginary title! It's so good to see you! Come, come, perform for us! Please, perform for us! Yeah! Oh, wait! Two months in, we don't give a fuck anymore because you're so fucking good at what you do that we started to hate you again! Is this camera rolling? Is this camera rolling? You have one job. You. I have one job. Your one job is to make sure I look good on camera. That's the whole point. I'm supposed to look fantastic because I'm going up against people like Bobby Miller, like Trevor, like Bones. And now I'm in this fucking tournament dealing with fucking Vagabond. I had a whole setup where I was going to say absolute value of Vagabond equals bitch, even though that's not even a math equation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking I'm losing it I'm losing it I'm losing it for these people for these people who don't who don't give a fuck about me these people would rather laugh at my downfall than carry me when I'm successful. These people. These people will never accept what you do. They only ask for more. They're never happy. I'm walking on sunshine. Wow! <laughs> Because this is the qualifying match for the Tokyo Ship Fatal Four Way! Ah! <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry, you, you didn't think I'd be here. Nobody in this thought I would be here. But here I am! <laughs> I told you from day one that I'd be here. And you didn't listen. You laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed! And here I am against hairs. Oh, a lot of people would have thought, oh, oh, Vagabond is going to die against Hez. See, that would have been true a few months ago when I first started off because my shit was all over the place. But now, my shit's a straight line. There's a clear path, a clear narrative, a clear story. Hez, I, I like stories as much as the next guy, but I want you to understand something. You don't have what it takes to take me down. No. Because at the last PDL, I got co I got really close to beating Trev. Oh, that shook a lot of people. I was that close. And you know what that did? That made me more confident in my abilities than ever. That should scare you. Because <laughs> now, now, every person I see is just another soul, another body in my path to glory. Because I want to be the one to take the belt off of Bobby Miller. Because I want to be the one to freeze the Iceman. What about you, Hez? Oh, you, you did go against him before, and what happened? He froze your shit. And now you're against me, the motherfucking vagabond. A guy you wouldn't look at months ago. And now here I am, in this qualifying match, motherfucker. Oh, you best believe I am starving, hungry, chomping at the bits. Because everybody else... Has their own story. I got my own story too. I am an arbiter of chaos, as I've told you from day one. Chaos is everything to me. Chaos lives in everything. You know what I'm gonna do to you, Hez? I'm gonna tell you a little story. Hez, you are one of the best talkers I have ever seen. But unfortunately, compared to me, not so much. Not so much. Do you want to know why? Because I know your style. Your style starts off soft, starts off smooth. But then you flip the switch. You turn into a monster, a kaiju, a gargantuan beast of horrors. I want to see it. Show me. Because what I'm doing to you now is I'm just easing a little bit of pressure each and every time. A little thread in the needle. That way, when it comes down to it, it will already be too late for you, Hez. It's already too late now, brother. You don't have what it takes to take me down, do you? No. See, months ago you have been confident in your abilities, but now? How about now? No. That was a good promo from Bagabon, but Pez, what are you doing? Like, that was your chance, and that's what you do. Alright, whatever. This has been Promo Division Live, and pay-per-view list is this way, so look at the list and write down the dates of our big premium promo events, and to watch them, either be a member of the group, which you probably are, or subscribe to the YouTube page, BWO Promo Division. You can watch episodes of PDL, which are post weekly, former episodes, previous episodes of too Hot to Handle, hosted by our champion, Lamar Wallace, and see all the events that we have done, including Promo Mania, Promo Series, Promo Slam, last year's biggest event, Stars and Stripes, our previous event, Broken Hearts, and of course, Talk Yo Shit, which is coming March 19th. With that being said, I'm DB Greatness, and you have a wonderful night.